What's happening, Internet fam? It's been a little while since I talked about Linux Mint, but it's still an operating system I'm using all the time. Um, I don't know if you know the story, but I set my mom up with Linux Mint about, I don't know, it must have been almost 10 years ago now, and she's still using Linux Mint. Uh, my dad uses Linux Mint as well. Um, other relatives, uh, I've turned a lot of people onto Linux Mint over the years, and it's just super easy to use. It looks and acts pretty much exactly like Windows XP. Super reliable, totally free, totally open source. So as we head into the holiday season this year, and you're, if you're thinking about buying somebody a new laptop or a new computer, I uh, just wanted you to keep Linux Mint in mind because I think you're going to be very happy um, with the lack of tech support that you have to give the people you give a machine that has Linux Mint on it. It just works. It's super solid out of the box. It works for a long time. So uh, I'm using the amazing OBS to record this. If you're not familiar with OBS, you should definitely check it out. One of the best programs I've ever used. Um, and uh, it works really well if you've got a green screen, which I do. Um, and I'm also using the Compiz Mate desktop. Um, so basically Linux Mint comes in three flavors. I'm using the Mint flavor because it happens to do Compiz the best, I think. Um, also, I really like the way Mate works. Uh, you can see that it's got the, the Mate menu here. I've customized a little bit, added things that I like, um, removed things that I don't use. Um, and you can see this computer is running really, really well. And this is an older computer too. This is not, a brand new nice computer this is an older computer that shouldn't be running as well as it is but it is and uh you know you've got your internet browser you can browse firefox no problem it's one of my favorite websites by the way you should definitely check out openairships.com if you get a chance um and uh yeah i mean the the donations that mint is getting now has definitely made the project i think pretty much sustainable over the long term uh there's enough people all over the planet using mint now that they're sending in money and uh it's 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 working well uh this is the gimp if you're not familiar with the gimp it's basically like a photoshop replacement that's completely open source and super usable um if you're into that sort of thing it is a powerful tool so it takes a little bit of something to learn how to use i have it in single window mode here you can see um i guess you can't zoom while you got the while you got the menu open but uh in single window mode here that's uh makes it look and act a little bit more like stock Photoshop. So I find that to be very convenient. So that's how I have it set up. Of course, you've got the great uh, Libra Owls, or Lib Libra Office apps, and you've got all the Libra Office apps. You've got Calc, everything. Uh, they all come installed by default, um, you know, and, and, and they're great. You know, you can type your letters or whatever you want to do. And you can see it's, it's just, you know, very easy to use. Um, it's got the old st style menu where you can really kind of see everything and it's all laid out nicely. I've always liked this kind of menu a lot better than I like the ribbon. I've never thought the ribbon was that great of a choice. Um, and a lot of people feel the same way too, so uh, we're not going to save that. No need. Um, yeah, and there's also a host of games, you know, that work really, really well. Actually, almost all the games work really, really well now due to uh, uh, Proton and Steam and Valve and what they've been up to. Um, and I've got all the browsers here. I've got Opera, Brave, Firefox, Chrome. Um, I had the Firefox one open there just a minute ago, but um, but all the browsers work great. So if you like Chrome, you got Chrome. Uh, Brutal Chess is a great little 3D chess program. Um, I don't know if, uh, you know, and again, it's free in the repos. So, you know, absolutely no reason not to, uh, not to get your chess on. And of course, there, all the emulators work and stuff too. Um, I've got uh, the Super Nintendo emulator working right now. And, uh, you know, and it, it works great. I'm getting audio for that right now. Probably our Super Nintendo audio, yeah. So, um, anyway, I, Linux Mint is just absolutely fantastic. I don't know why more people aren't using it. It's super easy to use, it's super fun to use, and um, it's super, super reliable. So, yeah. I have nothing, nothing bad to say about um, I, I think that some people are concerned because it's different than Windows or Mac. I worry about that. And that's a big concern for some people. But um, for me, I just, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it almost always works great. And, um, and I, I don't know why people are still using Mac and Windows at this point. Uh, when you've got something this powerful that works this well, I mean, I've got four desktops and I've got them transparent. I've got some fancy stuff going on here, but honestly, that took like 10 minutes to set up. It's not this complicated situation at all. Very easy to set up. 
and I highly recommend Linux Mint. If you haven't played with it recently, give it another stab. Uh, they've got a lot of great new tools that make it really simple to use now. Um, they've got a great backup tool. I feel very confident in installing it for a client or a relative and saying, hey, there's a backup tool right there. Use that backup tool. Use the backup tool to the local disk and then use the backup tool to uh, an additional um, uh, external hard drive and you're never going to have a problem. And I think that's pretty much accurate. So anyway, it's been a while since I did a Linux Mint de demo. So and I've got the green screen set up right now. So I figured go ahead and give it a shot. Hope you're all doing great internet family and happy holidays and remember if you're buying somebody a new computer or laptop for christmas think about putting mint on there you can dual boot it too it's not a commitment you can have windows and mint on the same machine so yeah all right happy holidays